the fair winds blow Our home is where the waters flow We'll show you what we've come to know On board while sailing wisdom so we pulled into Oriental and this place is just awesome. It's, it's a tiny town, everyone's super friendly. We just pulled in and anchored and then we got invited to be in a festival called Croker Fest and I'm gonna be driving a float in the parade. Like it's just, it's such a cool town. You just come in and you're just instantly welcomed. So Maddie's already on shore getting the tent set up and I got the dinghy loaded with all of our artwares. We're gonna be selling a bunch of art there today. So off we go. We're here at Croker Fest in Oriental and it's a really fun festival that they throw here in honor of the 4th of July and we decided to be included in it so we are vendors here today We've been hanging out with Charlie and Jerry and Morty and selling some artwork and it's been really fun to meet a lot of people in this community. Just super, super nice people down here. Take a walk, go around town a little bit. That's a yes.
We're picking up anchor here in Oriental. This is, wow, three weeks in the making. Uh, we've been in Oriental for three weeks. We just love it so much. We enjoyed our time here so, so much. It's really one of our favorite stops. I know we've been saying that about a lot of the places we go to along the ICW, but Oriental really is particularly special. And so it's hard, hard to leave. We've made a bunch of new friends since being here and we know we're gonna stay in touch. So that's a little, adds a little sweetness to the bitter of leaving. But now we're going to go just 10 miles up to Broad Creek and it's gonna be really interesting to see the difference between Oriental and this area on Broad Creek because uh, I think you'll see. It's, there's a really large dichotomy between them. Okay, we're aground, but I got the anchor up. We're still aground. We're gonna try and thrust ourselves out of here. So it's a really soft mud, so I have, I have high hopes. really feels good to be moving again just like we we have this problem where we get antsy when we're in one place for too long and it depends on the place sometimes it's a week and we start getting antsy sometimes it's two days and we start getting antsy well this was three weeks and we definitely needed to leave and so it feels super good to be back on the water and not with the wind in our sails, but at least with uh, the water in our prop. <laughs> and we're just making our way uh, very slowly because the bottom is super dirty and we're gonna have to get some of that scuzz off. But that's all right, that's all right. We're gonna make it nonetheless. So a few days ago, Maddie told me that she's ready to go. And I was like, but it's so nice here. Let's just stay a little longer. And then yesterday, Yes, no, not yesterday. The day before yesterday, it hit me as well. And I was like, all right, yep, time to go. We got to go. It's just, I don't know. It's just weird. It's just this urge to travel further, to keep sailing and keep moving. And when it hits, the only way to quench it is to go out and sail somewhere else. So we're just going to go 10 miles. It's nothing far. The bottom is, is scuzzy and I'm going to take care of that. But there's so many jellyfish in that harbor. I did not want to, I didn't want to touch the water. And uh, I mean, the water there grows everything. Our anchor chain had barnacles on it. It's, it's impressive. So we got to clean. So we're going to go to a different river. Hopefully it doesn't have as much growth, scrape stuff off and then keep making our way up north. And there's weather a brewing. So these days it's just hot and the water just evaporates with all the heat and makes a little thunderstorm and it's just, how it is. You get this in the Chesapeake Bay all the time and you get it here in the Sound and here on the Noose River it's big enough that you get it as well. Watching it, hopefully it doesn't come this way. If it does, Maddie's volunteered herself to get completely soaked in the rain. I might take her up on that one. So I'd go inside with all the pets and uh, she'd steer us through the storm. It's looking pretty ominous. Yeah, it's already absorbed Oriental so they're they're in a downpour right now. We got that on our right as well coming, so uh, we'll see. <laughs> Might Wind. be a wet ride. Wind's kicking up a lot. Yeah, and the wind's on the nose, which is not what the forecast called for. Interesting. It's supposed to be no wind at all today. <laughs> <laughs> so the storm was approaching, and we had this really good wind. So we decided, hey, let's put up some staysail, you know, get a little sail up in this action, and uh, have it pull us along. So I went up to do that, and then I got hit by one tiny drop of rain. So I'm done. That's it, Maddie's turn to steer. 
I don't understand why you didn't still get up to stand though. Because I was getting wet. It's not even raining. Could have started raining harder at any moment. <laughs> it takes you two seconds to get him up. Well, Maddie did it. She convinced me to get the sail up, and as it was going up, it started raining on me, so I got a tiny little bit wet. But I don't have to steer in this. <laughs> How you doing back there, babe? This is great. <laughs> How's it going for you? Fine. It's just that the it's like pelting into my ear, <laughs> hmm. so I keep getting water in my ear on my right. Are you bleeding? Uh, am I? Your ring finger. Why well, yes, I am bleeding. <laughs> All right, so it's passed. The weather's broken. That was exhilarating. <laughs> kind of like old times, I had to break out the compass because I could not see anything. I was using the land as a literal landmark um, and it was totally fogged over. We, we even put on AIS so that uh, we could make sure we didn't bump into any big boats. So, uh, you know, that was fun. Well, no, it wasn't. It wasn't fun at all, but <laughs> that happened. <laughs> I'm glad we're out of it. <laughs> but I'm also glad we uh, sailed through it because we got some really good miles in. We were going like five knots. I went from being unbearably hot to quite cold, which is honestly, that was kind of nice, but now I'm cold. <laughs> you wanna you wanna come out here? You a little steery steery? Is it still raining? No. Okay. <laughs> but you, you got a wet seat. <laughs> Thanks, you you kept the cushion dry. It's time for dinner. I got these beautiful ears of corn. I'm gonna boil them up. And the birds are very tempted by them. Understandably so. Do you like the kernel? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Hi Morty. Your dinner's done too. Oh yes. Morty's gonna have liver. It is so hot in here. We're all anchored up. Gonna have corn on the cob for dinner along with some chickpea salad. And it's going to be really healthy because we've been eating really badly. <laughs> chickpea salad, buttering my corn, and we have a feast. Well, I'm glad Maddie made that delicious meal because outside is kind of dreary. So, at least we have delicious food to keep our hearts and souls all nice and warmed. But we've collected this much water so far, so about two and a half gallons and maybe a gallon. We don't have the motor going right now. We're just pure sailing. We're back on the move. Last night was horrible. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if 
you're interested in even more Ringing Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.